What's happening everyone? It's Web of here with IBS511 and today I've got good news for you all and the thing is that um, iOS 5 jailbreak has been ported to Windows. Now a lot of Windows users were like yeah I don't have a Mac and I just hate Mac users and all that stuff. So yeah now the jailbreak for Windows has been released. So let's just proceed. I'm gonna put my iOS 5 IPSW and uh, it says passing kernel and now I'll just proceed and check on install Cydia. Now I'll just turn off my device and wait for the spinning wheel to just end spinning and the screen to just turn off. So as usual this jailbreak would require you to go into DFE mode and uh, yeah just follow the instructions written on the screen and the spinning wheel is just spinning a lot of time. I'm a lot of time I don't know why but Okay, so finally now it's just stop spinning. Now I'll just click on next and now I'll just hold the home, uh, power button and now I'll just hold the home button without releasing the power button and uh, I see an Apple logo and the screen flashes, nothing to worry and now I'll just uh, release the power button and continue holding the home and uh, just wait and now yep so i'm in dfe mode and retina will do the job what it should oh it's gonna take a bit of time let's just wait everyone uploading ram disk it's doing this stuff the progress bar is moving uh, pretty reasonably fast rebooting and now it says done that's good um, Jira is fairly quick. Now I'll just take a look at my iPod Touch. I can see some sort of codes, though I don't understand what's written on there. And uh, now I'll just take a look at a closer look at my iPod Touch. Yeah, my computer is a bit messy. You can see it right on there. These are the codes I don't understand. Uh, what's running on there? What's that? I don't get it. <sighs> don't know. Okay, now it says moving applications. And I'm gonna just keep it like this because it takes a lot of time. And I'm gonna just fast forward it. Okay, so now it still says moving applications. Now it says installing bundles. And the progress bar is moving fairly quick. Yeah, that's good. I'm seeing this cursor to speed after so much time. Now my iPod Touch will just reboot. And it still shows the Apple logo upon there. And yep, so it just turned on and you saw kind of cool kind of just animation out there. And then now it's just like to set up. And now let's just set it up quite that way. Triple tapping the home button, activating voiceover, then just tapping on the status bar using three fingers, bringing the top down notification menu, disabling voiceover, and then just quitting the weather app. And uh, yep, so you see Cydia, but you see that it's in white color. So, as this is because the jailbreak is tethered. Now, what we have to do is that we'll have to just. Um, Tethered um, booted for now, so let's just take a look at my monitor. Now, what I'll have to do is that I'll have to launch Resina once again and browse for my IPSW. And, uh, and now I'll have to click on next. And it's says patching kernel taking a lot of time. And now I'll just have to check on Tethered boot for now, okay? And uh, I'll just have to turn my iPod Touch once again and wait for the spinning wheel to just finish spinning and yeah, it's, it takes a lot of time, I don't know why I just hate this thing about my iPod Touch spinning 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 still spinning okay finally now I'll just click in next and bring my iPod Touch in DFE mode once again. Uh, holding the power button, holding the home button with the power button. And just following the instructions and now I'll just have to leave holding the power button and continue holding the home button. 
and uh, let's just zoom out a bit and uh, yep so now retina will do the job but it should let's take a look, closer look at it I just zoomed that out and it's gonna do uh, all the stuff all the good stuff now which will reboot it and it says done now um, let's just take a look at my iPod touch and now I can see a pineapple on my iPod touch pineapple actually just turned into the Apple logo whoa magical just kidding okay now I'll just have to unlock my iPod touch in the same way I did before in this video triple tapping the home button activating voiceover tapping on the status bar I can't tap it what the hell oh this was the problem cancel cancel it okay finally now I'll just use my three fingers bring the drop down menu and exit voiceover and uh, just tap on any of the things above I'll just tap on local weather and quit it so now I can see Syria so that's about it guys and uh, please uh, comment rate and subscribe that would really help me and I'll catch you guys later